Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a review, comparison, wear test um, between the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Original CC Cream and the new Your Skin But Better CC Cream Oil Free Matte. So side note here, I got this really good deal off of QVC. So for $54, you get their new foundation, which is originally $38. And then you get their CC Airbrush Perfecting Powder, which is one of my favorites that I was running low on, actually, and would have purchased for full price. And then a Heavenly Skin Perfecting Brush. So for just literally like $15 more, you get this amazing powder and a brush. So if you are interested in purchasing this foundation, Look into that set, it's a really awesome deal. So I've used the original CC cream for quite some time now. I have the travel sizes just because they don't sell it in light medium and I like to mix these two to get my perfect shade. I'm just going to compare them two, put one on one side of my face and the other on the other side of my face and see how they wear throughout the day. I really like videos like this so. I'm gonna make one too. So let's talk about the differences in this foundation that they claim on their website. So basically the key benefits on the pages are literally all the same. They're SPF, brightening color corrector, hydrating anti-aging serum, poreless finish primer, dark spot concealer, moisturizing day cream. These are all claims of the original and the only difference on the website with this foundation is that this is full coverage matte foundation and this one's just a full coverage foundation and then obviously the matte one is blue and this one is silver even in the full-size packaging so they both retail for $38 this one has SPF 40 the original has SPF 50 but other than those differences everything else is literally the same different level of SPF this is matte this is not matte and honestly the original is pretty matte on my skin so I'm interested to see how this one works so yeah let's see if their claims are true all right so I'm gonna start off with the new oil free matte on this side of my face just because if this turns out to be a weird color I can try and doctor this side to match the most so really thick a lot thicker than I remember this being so I just did one pump Gosh, this is like really thick on my skin. I don't remember it being this thick. You know what, let me zoom you in so you can kind of see a little bit more. And I'm using the Morphe sponge to blend this guy in. I don't really like this sponge, but. Okay, so with one coat, it has um, a medium coverage that definitely, if it's able to build, can get to full coverage. Uh, it is very, very matte. I don't notice it picking up on any dry spots or acne. But that being said, my skin right now, for some reason, is like really good. My skin is never really good, so I don't have many problem areas for the foundation to pick up on. So I'm finishing the rest of that pump on my cheeks because that is where all of my freckles and my redness are. All right, and now I'm going to use the original on my face right away. This one is a lot more liquidy, whereas the matte is a lot more mousse. So I didn't want to waste too much product, but this is the matte and this is the original. The original, as you can see, immediately has a lot more glow to it, where this one has more of a moussey consistency, which I think is what makes it look more matte. The original also has a scent to it. I didn't get a scent while applying the matte one, so if you don't like the scent of the original, maybe check out the matte. Right, so I definitely think the original is a lot easier to spread and there is most definitely more of a glow on my face, which I never would have noticed until I put matte on this side. Also, a lot less coverage with the original. So, I mean, I never thought the original had full coverage, but the matte actually kind of does. So 
some immediate differences that I noticed straight away upon application. The matte side is definitely more matte. I think it definitely has more coverage to it, whereas the original does have a little bit more of a do to it, especially compared to my matte side. I don't notice the matte side picking up on any severe dry patches or anything so that's something good to know it is the shade the light medium has a little bit of a pink undertone to it which i'm not crazy about because i have a more neutral undertone but that's my mistake so yeah both sides are looking good i think my original side looks a little healthier not too big of a fan of matte foundations but i mean it looks good but it's definitely matte so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my face with the IT Airbrush Perfecting Powder after I do my brows and concealer and just finish off the rest of my makeup. But yes, if you're wondering, this is what's going to be setting my face today. So I will come back to you guys when I'm done. Okay, so makeup is now done. Um, anything else significant on my face? Let's see. I used the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow Foil. These are new. I love these. I'm filming a review on these right after this video. I used the new Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Bar from their Zodiac Collection. This one is Earth. Loving it. Might do a review of this collection. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it because it's been out for a while. I also wore Ardell Wispies as my lashes today. I haven't worn these in a while and they're really nice. I like them. So I did notice uh, after setting my face with the powder, the differences between the two sides of my face are pretty undetectable. Before I set, I did notice the lines kind of like on my forehead showing a little bit more on the matte side than on the original side. So that's something to keep in mind, especially if you have more mature skin. But honestly, I think the major differences found in these foundations will be in the wear test. I can kind of predict already what's going to happen, but I'm gonna take you along for the ride. I will check in in a few hours. It is nine o'clock in the morning. So yeah, in a few hours, I will tell you how the makeup's holding up. Okay, so it is like 12 o'clock. So I've had the makeup on for about three hours now. And honestly, I forgot to mention this before, but I have normal to dry skin. So the wear of foundations on me is pretty long. Like I don't really have a problem with wear of foundation. So the foundations both look basically how they looked three hours ago. They didn't creep into my smile lines, which is really good. I do notice a slight bit more lineage right here on my forehead on the matte side compared to the original side, but no super difference between the two so so far so good. hey guys what's up it is officially four o'clock so i have been wearing the two foundations for seven hours now so overall my face looks really good for seven hours so the part the, where i noticed the foundation kind of breaking up and looking a little nasty is around the mouth area you can really tell that it's caking up the differences between the two sides this side there's a little bit more glow and oils kind of peeking through and this side i noticed a little bit more cracking around my mouth area and my smile lines nothing really super different to where you can tell oh she's wearing two different foundations i can tell because i'm looking for it and i i'm not gonna lie like i looked really hard for the differences there really isn't that much difference between the two there's not and maybe that's a good or bad thing but i wanted to wait till eight hours of wearing this but i think i have a pretty set in stone opinion about the two different foundations the two really are truly a very similar formula so if you like the original i think you will like the matte however there are subtle differences that i think make one foundation more appropriate than the other one i think if you have an oily skin tone 
definitely go for the oil-free matte one. Um, it will hold your oils much better. I have normal to dry skin, so it doesn't affect me, and my skin doesn't really have much dry patches on it right now, so not much dry patches are being emphasized, so this works fine for me. If you do have dry skin, more mature skin, or have a little bit more patches, go for the original because it is going to show your lines a little less. For me, personally, uh, I don't really have a preference between the two. I have a preference for when I would wear the two. So for day to day, I would prefer a little bit more glow. So I would use the original something a little bit of a lighter coverage. And for nighttime, like when I go out or when I go out to dinner or maybe like pictures, I think I would prefer the oil free matte. I just like matte foundations and a little bit more full coverage foundations for nighttime. So this is definitely more of a nighttime foundation for me. So over Overall, I really do enjoy the IT Cosmetics matte formula just as much as I like the original formula. I just think that this is more appropriate for my personal skin for nighttime. A little bit more fuller coverage will hold my oils a little better at night. So I do like it. And if you have oily skin and you find that your oils peek through this one a little much, give this one a go because it is really good and it has held up really well on my skin throughout the day and I'm telling you the differences between the two on my face right now are very very minimal but I can tell the characteristics of this being a matte foundation so it does have the benefits that matte foundation gives but it also has the disadvantages to matte foundations so very similar formula really good a lot of people love this I think a lot of people are going to love this too Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any opinions or you've tried these two or what you think. Just let me know down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Have a great day. Bye.